All right, how's it going, YouTube? This is Grant with Retro Games and More coming at you with a new video. Wanted to uh, show you guys uh, a little project that I've uh, been working on for you know the last day or so. Uh, I went on Craigslist and I found me a PSP uh, model 2001. It's the slim one. Um, it was the white uh, Star Wars edition. It had the Darth Vader on the back uh, of the battery cover. Uh, I got it with uh, some games and a case for 60 bucks, and, uh, you know, the screen was kind of scratched up, so I decided to, uh, you know, mod it and get a new shell, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, so I went online, uh, picked up a awesome shell, and I changed it out, and uh, I want to share it with you guys, so, all right, here it is. pretty awesome. I really, really, really like the color. Uh, it pops. Uh, the only complaint I had with this shell was that the buttons, it actually came with, uh, came with yellow buttons. Um, and it came with yellow buttons all on the, on the bottom and everything. But the, the problem is, is that you can tell that this is kind of like a, a Japanese import shell. The, uh, the quality is not as high uh, as a, an original PSP uh, shell or casing. Uh, so the the buttons were really really low quality. They they uh, really they felt really deep down and didn't have the uh, response like the original PSP buttons did. So I just I stuck with the original white buttons. And uh, you know what? I kind of I kind of dig the look. It kind of gives it a little bit of a contrast. Uh, and it doesn't uh, you know it's not too yellow yellow you know. Um, but uh, the main reason I decided to get a PSP uh, was for uh, one game. And that game is, let's see it loading here, Tactics Ogre, uh, Let Us Clean Together. Now this is a, uh, a port, kind of a remake of the uh, PlayStation 1 title. Uh, they upped, upped the graphics a, a little bit uh, to go with the, uh, you know, the widescreen format. Uh, some of the battle animations have been redone. Um, and it uh, it is it is a little bit different from the original, but uh, this is literally my favorite game for the PlayStation One. And when I uh, heard that they were making a remake uh, or porting it to the PSP, I had to have a have a, had to have a PSP. Um, anyways, yeah, this is uh, this is the new shell. I tell you what, this thing was super <laughs> super hard to to mod. I, I modded a, uh, a Nintendo DS Lite before. And, and that's child's play compared to, to changing out the shell on one of these PSPs because there's just so much to it. Uh, uh, but I was uh, really impressed with how small the motherboard was in this thing. It's tiny. Uh, and the, uh, the GPU is really small. And it, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a very impressive little piece of hardware. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, uh, it's awesome. Works great. And, uh, and I'll share with you guys uh, some of the games that I got. Actually, I'll show you the, all the games that it came with. And you can tell me if uh, 60 bucks was a good deal or not. All right. So the only cased game that it came with was Burnout Dominator. Uh, I haven't played this one yet. I've been too uh, infatuated with Tactics Ogre. Uh, but, you know, I love the Burnout series uh, on the Xbox and... Uh, on the Xbox 360 and the original Xbox, and uh, I've always loved playing the Burnout games, so uh, I'll probably enjoy this. I'll show you the uh, non-boxed games that it came with. It actually came with this random hard case, uh, which is kind of nice. The inside is kind of rubberized. I'll, sh I'll show you. I guess inlays for everything. And it came with, oops, let's see it there. That is Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, I'm assuming maybe that's what uh, the original PSP came with package since it was the Star Wars edition originally. Uh, also it came with a copy of, I see that, that is Fight Night Round 3. Looks like the uh, UMD casing has been changed out. And it came with a copy of, NBA uh, 09, the inside. You know, I'm not uh, not a big basketball fan, or uh, or even the Fight Nights doesn't really, you know, doesn't really suit uh, 
suit my taste in games. But, you know, can't beat it. It came with them. So, also, I'll show you uh, the collection of games and media that I have, uh, that I've actually had from uh, prior PSPs that I've owned. I just saved the games because I didn't want to sell the games because I knew eventually I'd get another PSP. So, let me go ahead and start out with the, probably the best game ever uh, on the PS. It, it is. It's the best game developed for the PSP, hands down. Uh, it's one of my favorite games of all time. And uh, most people would, would already know exactly what I'm talking about before I show it, and that would be... Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Amazing game. Amazing game. I love, love the battle system. Uh, the graphics are amazing for the PSP. There it is. I don't have the booklet for it, but, uh, but yeah, if you haven't played this game, uh, please do yourself a favor and go out and get it. Uh, it is worth buying a PSP just, just for that game alone. Uh, the game is amazing. Uh, and, of course... Tactics Ogre. Now, I did buy this game uh, when I purchased the PSP, you know, because this was the, the sole reason uh, I wanted to get a PSP. And, uh, yeah, I did pay $28 used for it, so it was a pretty decent deal. It's, uh, you know, it's it recently came out, I guess, what, three, three months ago or so. Uh, so I wish I would have actually got it when it came out and bought it brand new. But, you know, still got it, and I love it. It's amazing. I'm, it's, uh... Like I said, I'm infatuated with right now, and I just, uh, that's the only game I'm playing. Uh, also, uh, I did pick up this game afterwards, and it is, excuse me, Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, The War of the Lines. I'm a huge tactical game fan, as you can tell. Um, and uh, I really loved uh, Final Fantasy Tactics for the PlayStation 1, so uh, my local game dealer uh, was running a special buy two games, get one free. Uh, so I bought this, Tactics Ogre, and you know what? I'll go ahead and show you the game that I got for free. Now, uh, as you might know, oops, <laughs> as you might know, I'm a big retro gamer, uh, so I had to pick up a an NES game. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, I think I've seen reviews of this game. I just I love the cover art. Astyanix. I I have no clue how you pronounce it. Uh, I haven't played it yet, uh, but it was in it's in really good shape. Got it free. It was normally six bucks, so you know six dollars free. But, uh, yeah, let me know if that game's any good. And, uh, you know, I'll be playing it uh, eventually. Another awesome game uh, for the PSP that I have that uh, that if you have a PSP, get it. Uh, if you don't have a PSP, this would be another reason to buy a PSP. And that is Brave Story. It is such an amazing, uh, simple RPG, turn-based. Uh, graphics are amazing. The, uh, the battle system's awesome. Uh, you know, it's a little quirky story. Uh, kind of cutesy, but, you know, I really enjoy it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, turn-based RPGs. Uh, you know, big f original Final Fantasy series fan, so. Uh, also, almost done showing you all the games I got. I have the Namco Museum uh, Battle Collection. Gets uh, 20 arcade, or over 20 arcade uh, uh, classics. And uh, I love the Pac-Man uh, like revision that they have on here. It's really awesome. A lot of the games have uh, like upped graphics. It's it's a really cool collection. I bought it a long time ago. I just uh, held on to it. It's just it's nice to have when I you know I want to break from from serious RPGs or you know if I just want to pick up a quick game and, and get into it. It's really awesome. Uh, also, this is the last thing I have for my PSP, and uh, and I'm planning on buying a lot more things in the future for my PSP. Uh, if you haven't seen this series, uh, this this animated series. Uh, you should definitely go out and uh, and and go pick it up, rent it, go to your local. Well, you probably can't rent it. Uh, it's kind of an older series, uh, but it's so amazing. I really, really love uh, love this series, and that is the Aeon Flux series. Now, this is the complete collection, and uh, I can't remember how how much I paid for it. I know I got it as first deal. It's probably like six dollars or something, and it is so awesome. If you can get it on DVD, or I'm not for sure if they have it on Blu-ray. Definitely look into it. The, uh, the anime style is really original, uh, and the story is amazing. Hey, got my phone ringing. Yeah, let me know what you think about the yellow PSP 2000 model. It's, uh, it's awesome. I really like this model. It seems, you know, lighter, seems thinner and almost longer than the original one. Um, I love all the PSPs, though, maybe except for the Go. <laughs> Actually, the ghost is pretty awesome, too. Anyways, uh, that's my video. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch it. And uh, have a good one. Look forward to future videos. Thanks.